what's going on everyone? It's me, Terrible Setup Rambler here. It's more of a temporary one, but it, it, it's still um, pretty bad. The lighting's bad, the audio's bad, the webcam's bad. <laughs> and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4, La Révolution Française. Now this mod is set in, well, the Napoleonic era, and it allows you to change the course of the French Revolution. Maybe I can be Napoleon and actually take out Russia? Now I do actually really enjoy uh, alternate history mods, so why not give it a go? Look, we could even be this kid, maybe. Who's given him two hand weapons? Can I even say weapons on YouTube anymore? Oh, I don't know what's allowed and what isn't. I'm so out of touch. But of course, if you want to see more Hearts of Iron, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, 5,000 likes for more hoy, and I probably need to... Oh, no. Why would they put... Uh, I know it's a painting, but even then, YouTube will definitely demonetize me if they see what I have just covered. I'll have to find some way of covering it in the edit. Brilliant, that's a pain. A watershed event in modern European history. The French Revolution began in 1789 and ended in the late 1790s with the ascent of Napoleon Bonaparte. During this period, French citizens raised and redesigned their country's political landscape, uprooting centuries-old institutions such as absolute monarchy and the feudal system. Like the American Revolution, the French Revolution was influenced by Enlightenment ideas, particularly the concept of our popular sovereignty and blah, blah, blah. You can also do coalition wars, but I'm just going to do the French Revolution. Look at this smug git, Louis the Sixteenth. Oh, you don't know what's in store for you, sir. The Kingdom of Prussia looks like he's out on, uh, out looking for more pies. But we're going to play as France and just see what we can accomplish. And look, there's still Louisiana, which we could play as, apparently. We're not going to. Back to, back to France we go. And I think I'm safe to move my camera down now. Lovely. Oh, and there's already civil wars going on. Nice. We start with 97 divisions, all plonked in Paris. Well, someone's having a big old party, and they're all six combat with. Oh, for God. oh they've changed the army icon. Wow. Jean-Baptiste. Is the technology done? Kind of. Kind of. They've removed most stuff, it seems. You can't get any support battalions or artillery. It's just support weapons and hand cannons. Okay, this appears to be rather in the alpha. I think I'll research some early destroyers in that Oh, I only have two research slots. Brilliant. I guess that limits my options. Automatic weapons are becoming more portable. <laughs> oh. Literally the only thing we can produce is hand cannons. Okay. Um, right. Well, we have the Charleville Musket Factories, which, well, we can actually get a decent amount of factories from doing that. But I think we should probably do the French Revolution, eh? Da -da 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 -da. The French people will rise from the ashes of the fallen monarchy that has ruled our people for hundreds of years. I can't do accents, can I? That's really bad. Britain doesn't have a focus tree. Russia doesn't have a... Am I the only country going to be doing anything? Oh. What have I done? Russia is... Oh, absolutist. Sorry, I thought that was... That's usually the colour for something else in the game, don't you know? I think this might be quite a quick mod to play through then. If there's only one focus tree, we shouldn't really get a whole lot of lag. I don't know. I should probably be wearing my glasses too. Whenever I don't wear my glasses nowadays, I find looking at the screen tricky. Oh, well, I could support the revolutionists or support the royalists. Hmm. I don't know what one to pick, actually. I think it would be quite fun to see that the French monarchy continues. Shall we do that? Napoleon will never rise to power. <laughs> Take that, Napoleon. We must protect our king's throne I, and stop this awful revolution. Bonjour, indeed. Da, 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 da. I didn't even look at these. We've got the French Revolution. Uh oh. We've got a signet. All right. Oh, the save for us before the looming bankruptcy. Nice. Uh, we have divided clergy and the Haitian Rebellion. Oh, introduction of the guillotine. Nice, we needed that. So this does seem like a very, 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 very early mod. And but I, I've still got to give a, a modder um, kudos for even attempting something in a different, completely different time period. 
it's very difficult to achieve that kind of thing in, in Hearts of Iron. I, I, I don't have the time to mod, nor do I have the patience. Uh, so I, I, I think it's great when, when anyone can create an alternate history mod. I guess we could have even played as the Chinese Empire, dominated the world as the Qing Dynasty. Ah, God save the king, he is our only help. Really? Is he? Let them eat cake. Give our people the food we have stored. The rich can pay for it. Oh. <laughs> the peasants don't need food meant for the... No, I'm going to let them have cake. Wait. I get worse debuffs giving them cake. What? I give them cake and they're like... Oh, we, we, we hit you. All right, fine. I'll give the National Assembly some power. Oh, we still got the Maginot line, chaps. We still got the Maginot line. Look at that. 200 years in advance. Well, 150. Oh my god. The freaking what? Sardinia Pedamont were training on my border. Well, I'll give you a training to... Yeah, that's right. The French working hard. There's a first time for everything, right? Ah! Oh boy. Oh, oh. oh, here we go. Habsburg Manarchy. The Habsburg monarchy gets the event put down the revolution. Oh. Yeah, if you're wondering why my setup is kind of weird at the moment, I, I don't really um, have any decent lighting. There's no uh, lighting in my office at all, apart from a couple of lamps I've managed to put in. Uh, I also have the problem of um, there's a bit of echo where there isn't a lot of furniture in here. And uh, I, I also need to get a new desk because I'm borrowing my girlfriend's desk at the moment because I don't actually own my own one in, in Canada. Uh, so... I need to do a lot to get this to like a proper studio setup and I'm a bit concerned if I can actually use my UK business card in Canada in order to you know expense stuff because it's all business expenses but where I'm in another nation I'm not really sure the legalities of that some boring stuff you never needed to know I'm gonna destroy the revolution our solution is their dissolution I'm not sure if I'm ready for this actually I'm gonna cancel it I need to actually uh, to, uh, yeah, cancel that. I need, I need some freaking army experience. Where can I get army experience? Takes so long to get army experience. Like, what the frickity frack? Just give me that army XP. Oh, I'm actually in alliance with, with Austria. Uh, it didn't actually tell me. And Prussia. Oh, the French alliance. Nice. Nice. Wow. We're already quite powerful. Oh, tasty. Why, yes, I would like to research flintlocks. I feel like I'm slightly behind the times here. <laughs> Hawaii declared war on the Maui. Uh-oh. Well, they're going to be going at it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's actually factions on this island. Is there? No, they can't. Oh, they have a truce. Right, make if sense. Make if many sense. One division versus one division. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Just gonna get some musket factories, I think, before we actually go for any kind of war. I'm not really convinced my men are gonna do that well in combating the the revolutionaries. They're literally fighting with hand cannons, like a medieval. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's start trying to get some. Oh God, even just just give me some good weapons, please. Just a few more weapons factories before I try and destroy the revolution. <laughs> oh my God, I can actually get muskets soon. Oh man, I'm actually losing political power every day. Huh. Alrighty, well let's let's destroy the revolution. There's no way that I'm going to give in. I, I should probably try and fortify in, in Paris, right? Screw it. Hopefully they all remain loyal, otherwise I'm screwed. The monarchy stands tall. Indeed it does. And what is the... Ay. Aye. Oh. oh no. Oh no 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 no. Uh, oh no no no. Uh, oh, Jean-Baptiste left me. Oh my giddly aunt. This is not good. I regret I, I regret upgrading my troops now. They are lacking some equipment though. Oh nice. So I've got that going for me, which, which is nice I guess. Uh, can I call my allies in to help me now? Please. Please help me. Ask neighbours for help. Holland is powerful, can easily turn the tide. But be wary, they may join the revolution is provoked. If provoked. They better not be. Oh yeah, take that, you freaking revolutionaries. What if I just did the old BAM? Oh yeah, take that revolu- They don't stand a chance against the might of the French monarchy. Oh, they're beating me, aren't they? Well, <laughs> so far I 
I can't deploy anyone. Uh, I can. I'm going to try and get my divisions to 20 combat width. I think that'll help me. Are you having a giraffe? They're not going to help me. Um, the revolutionaries actually have more military factories than I do. Are you, what, you, frickin' El Ne de Shilagun? I'm just trying to farm army experience at this point. I'm not expecting to push. I just need the army experience. <laughs> Come on, tick away please. Tick, 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 tick. And now I wait until the end of time to produce enough muskets to equip my infantry. Oh my goodly goo. Negotiate for weapons, please. Please, Spain. Give me weapons. I, I, don't give it to the Republic. Give it to the new Galactic Empire. You cannot call on allies when you are not the faction leader. So what's the freaking point, game? I, I might as well... I, I, come on, Spain. Give me them weapons. Spain? Spain? The event didn't do anything. The event didn't do anything. There we go. Buying weapons will work, but it will cost us an arm and a leg. Well, I've barely got either at the moment, so frickin' gimme. <laughs> uh, these events literally do nothing. Steal weapons? Stealing weapons blueprints may get us more than we bargained for, but at a risk. I, 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 let's see if spec. Both the US and the Spanish have offered us an alliance. Let's give the let, let's see if Spain will will help me. Do you want to help me, Spain? Like you could literally win this war for me. But I doubt you will because you're a git. I'm just buying my time, guys. Don't worry. I'm buying my time. I'm buying my time. I'm buying it. Well, that national focus didn't work either. Brilliant. Who tested this? This hasn't been tested. I want my freaking f alliances. I want my guns. I want my everything. But my 20 combat whip appear to be beating their 10s, even if they don't have equipment. So, winning at life. <laughs> Literally took one tile. Nice. Yeah. Imperial army. Me likey the looky of that. Yes. Oh god, I don't have enough wood. That's not what you want to say to a lady, by the way. <laughs> um, would be quite bad if, if you ever admitted that. <laughs> oh, diddly. Ah, we've taken their capital and encircled some of the dastardly f revolutionaries good my attacks are working yes continue the encirclements strike them back from whence they came i'm making fairly good progress now uh, it's just a lack of equipment which i think is stopping me so once we're fully equipped and i have some in 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 surplus i'm just going to go absolute ham on them it would be nice if i could get support divisions though support um companies that's not an option in this mod to have any of them whatsoever. Just gonna execute them. The revolution shall never happen. Oh no, I'll do that once I've finished with them. Once I've finished, yes. Right, launch the attacks. Again, uh, I don't really need to do a whole lot of, of microing. My units will just beat theirs now on the vast majority of, of cases be because it's, I, I, I have, my combat width is far better than theirs. Uh, so I'm winning across, across the board. In the vast majority of cases, um, I'm always going to win the battles now because my combat width is much better than theirs. And I think my units probably have overall better equipment and actually have the majority of my generals. So it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty much uh, guaranteed that I'm going to win unless something goes really, really badly. Yeah, our casualties have been fairly similar to the Republic of Thrall, uh But overall... I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Got a million men in in, 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 in the manpower pool. I don't know, maybe I could start recruiting more troops. Got some maybe some mountaineer divisions to put into. Noish, 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 noish. Imagine being those peasants being beaten back at every turn. Take that, peasants. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I <laughs> what am I even saying anymore? Oh dear. We surrounded six divisions of them. Crush them! Oh yeah, baby, look at that. We've dominated them. Absolutely dominated them. Now what do I do? Create a new grand army. That's what we're gonna do. Oh yes. And then conquer the world. I think I think I'll attack the Spanish. The gits for not helping me. How dare they? How dare they not help out ya yeah boy? You know what I mean? I need to I need to think before I talk. I, you know? Oh my god, how many freaking 
Thingy me bobs do I have? Save the King, Let them eat cake, National Assembly, Revolutionary Army, Defense of France, Volunteers, Grand Army, and that one again. Huh. Alright. Um, I probably should have done attack our enemies. Yeah. That would have been a good one. Oh well, I'm going to execute the revolutionaries. <laughs> Louis the Sixteenth is angered by Spanish posturing. You, you gosh darn diddly better be right about that. Oh, let's go. And we've called everyone in. They actually joined us this time. Nice. Oh, does that mean that... Yeah, Louisiana's going to be at war with the Viceroy of New Spain. Unfortunately, Louisiana doesn't have any divisions, but that's fine. Oh my god, New Spain has almost a hundred military factories. You having a giraffe? Well, let's see if I can actually push in. I think it's unlikely because they have, they're they stacked so high on these. Oh, I've actually managed to push. Huh. Oh my god. Rate my encirclement, Reddit. Look at that. Look at that nice one. Oh, freaking destroy them. Yes. That wasn't even difficult. <laughs> um... Oh. Well. Okay then. I'm just seeing how easy it is to conquer other little nations now. Uh, I, I think it's going to be pr pretty pretty simple. It's This seems like it's... I don't know that I can be defeated. I don't think the AI is changing their division templates. So they're, they're just going to be like 6 combat width. Whereas mine are now... I've changed them to 40 combat width. So uh, even in mountainous terrain, they can't stop me. I am unbeatable. Oh, the US is guaranteeing the Helvetian Republic. Well, whatever. Let's start a world war. Uh, I'm just going to go after the Ottoman Empire now, be be because I can. <laughs> Why not, eh? Why not? Have a little fun. Da -da 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 -da. It's me! France! Coming at ya! <laughs> the US has between three and five divisions. Oh dear. Oh! Encirclement! Yeah, the, the, the Ottomans, I don't think, stand a chance. No one really does. Uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is so easy to conquer everyone as soon as you change your combat width. It's so easy. I'm going to conquer some stuff. Why not, eh? Well, the Ottoman lives, uh, uh, on, uh, Empire lives on in, in some form. <laughs> Alrighty, into Poland we go. Call all of our allies. Da -da 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 -da. And then, our final target will be Russia. I'm basically doing what Napoleon did, but probably more successfully, because I've actually kept some of the powers here, you know, in line. I, I, and I, I just can't be bothered to, to do all of these individually. The Grand Invasion of Russia. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. And then we go. Let's see if I can do what Napoleon couldn't, eh? It looks like I'm doing okay. Uh, yeah, uh, the Russians have taken almost 200,000 casualties compared to my 7,000. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not a challenge. The map is looking a little odd. It appears the Ottoman Empire is gaining most of Russia's territory. Huh. Oh, damn. I've, uh, oh. It appears the Russian Empire just went around the flank and... Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, well. I think we'll capitulate them soon enough, though. I clearly haven't been paying attention because I haven't needed to. Um, <laughs> whoops. All right, go for Tbilisi, please. Well, I've done it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think I'll just pop it. Nice. Just need to humble the Russians. Just need to humble them. We don't need to conquer them. Just humble them. And then the French alliance is by far the most powerful uh, nation in the world. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today for this mod. If you would like to see it again once it's more complete, please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll be back with more content soon, so please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and, and click that notification bell. Right? That's how it works. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, and it's toodle pip from me from now. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Robert Kinge, Dath Falcon, Ryan Koch, Cody Freeze, Name Name 1231, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!